All right, guys, welcome back to the second episode of the Masochist series. All credit, of course, goes to Simo. He's the one who invented all of this, so I wouldn't even be playing this if it wasn't for him. Uh, but before we get there, do you want to make your Master Duel experience significantly better? Are you ready to take your Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel play experience to a new level? The Untapped GG Companion is here for you. Use the deck tracker to know exactly what cards you have in your deck and to go over any cards you aren't familiar with yet by hovering over them. It instantly updates when you draw a card and automatically hides if you check your extra deck or graveyard. This is the perfect tool to help you master a new deck. The Untapped GG Companion also lets you import decks directly into the game in seconds. Copy any YDK or YDKE deck string, create a new deck in game, click the Start Auto Import button, and let us take the wheel. Once the duel is over, check your win rate on your personal stats page. Brag among your friends and share your deck so they can import them into the game too. Start your path to master today by downloading the Untapped GG Companion at ygom.untapped.gg. This has been absolutely insane. Like, it really has been. Uh, our pulls were crazy. We have so many floodgates, it's almost outrageous. I read a ton of your comments, and looking back, honestly, I think that of all of the games that we played, the only one that we probably were still going to lose no matter what I did was probably the Crooked Cook. Like, other than that game, I, I'm pretty sure that Blue Eyes game was a perfectly winnable game, and we probably should have won it. But I've reread the cards. I've reworked the deck. I actually went back. And reread every single card in our deck to make sure that there's no foolishness going on. Sometimes when I'm like, when there's a lot of things going on on screen, I don't read the card fully. I'll just skim through it and I don't want like dead air time. But this time I've actually read through every single card. Um, some key notes here that I've, I've taken away. Parallel Twister is actually better than I thought. It doesn't just destroy a spawn trap card. You send a spawn trap card to the graveyard. And then you could target any card and destroy it. This is like actually really good because that is a very easy removal. It actually combos well with Big Bang Shot because we can actually equip to our opponent's monster. And uh, if this leaves the field, the monster gets banished. So we can equip this to our opponent's monster. And then we can Parallel Twister, send B Big Bang Shot to the graveyard. And then we can banish the monster that's equipped. And then pop a totally separate card. Card. so that is already kind of crazy um this card dimension slice a lot of you guys mentioned it it doesn't i don't need to summon a monster an xyz monster for this to um for this to activate for this to, to, to kind of like trigger all right i don't have to uh banish an xyz monster in order to use this card i can banish any monster uh so i just read this again too fast and i just saw xyz and i just assumed it had something to do with like banishing an xyz monster but no i can summon any monster and then i can banish any monster so that's actually quite good and then if i have an xyz monster i can activate it on uh, the turn it's set but none of our xyz monsters are summonable yet um other than that some key notable things i, I still can't believe we pulled this uh, i've added a few things like plant uh, planet pathfinder because i started to cut some of the pendulum stuff and all of the stuff that you just can't normal summon uh just because at the end of those games i literally lost because I couldn't normal summon my monsters. I just drew monsters I couldn't do anything with. Uh, so I've replaced them, and I've replaced them with even cards that aren't even that great. Like, like Consecrated Light is good against if we play against, like, a dark deck. But if we don't, it can kind of be terrible. Uh, but I've replaced a lot of different cards. I've played this. I said this card was terrible. And I still think it's terrible. But honestly, for our purposes right now, uh, probably isn't even that bad. Like, it does protect. There can only be one. And it's better than playing a two-tribute monster that doesn't do anything or even a one tribute monster that doesn't do anything and it's, it's got okay stats but a lot of these cards honestly will end up getting cut anyway but let's go let's go get into the duel i'm so excited i want to i really want some more packs so we can keep playing all right so i'm not gonna lie i just lost the sky strikers but i got a phone call i was gonna lose regardless but we just track it as one more loss on the uh one more loss added to what we have already because i just that this sky striker game was totally unwinnable he had like engage he had everything and i had like uh, i don't even know what i had but it was it was just definitely was not enough to compete there uh we did we did we just win or lose i just that thing just like turned off wow thank god all right all right so this is a decent hand like i said we have sword and shield basically we have there can only be one which again this kind of sucks sometimes because sometimes i draw there can i it's better to go second generally because you want the extra card but the problem with going first is if you don't draw there can only be one nothing's going on so that kind of sucks light imprisoning i hope they play a light deck oh my i really hope this isn't labyrinth because we just lose against labyrinth 
And then Arborea, I think, will be a good card at one point. This is, like, in so many ways a fantastic card. It's a tuner. It special summons itself to a link zone. It does so much, uh, but it's just not good right now. And then we've got uh, the Punk, which will probably never be good for us. And then this is just 1500 attack a lot of our monsters are very weak and we need to be switching them out i'm just gonna go on offense because i gotta get some information i don't know what these are i don't know what this is i don't know what's going on he set a monster in set three i have no idea um i have no idea what he has so i have to do some some verification here so even if i can't destroy this by battle i need to see what it is so i know what he's playing what is this oh my god that is so specific <laughs> oh man uh that is a really old card i honestly don't know what this guy's playing but it looks like he's playing like some bs i honestly don't even think that there can only be one is going to be useful against this person so i'm just gonna set those two in pass hopefully he doesn't have like twin twisters in the end phase there's an off chance where this guy is actually playing the same challenge that we are here that's very possible because this is a nonsense card oh he's ending all right uh, back to square one. I honestly don't even know if that really helps us, and I should probably save that for later. So I'm going to go ahead and set this and just pass here. Because I, I would rather save this for a big monster that is actually tough to out. Because, yeah, I can, like, put this on the top of their deck. No way. That's so specific. That's a card that I wish we had. <laughs> red vinegar. Sour scheduling. Red vinegar. Vamoose. That is so specific. Wow. And that's a continuous card. So now I just will never place anything here. But okay, that's that's still pretty cool. I'm, I'm fairly certain this guy has to be playing the same thing we are. Because this is this is about as goofy as it gets. I'm actually happy that we're not playing against like as many meta decks and, and self TK and stuff like that that, that I thought we were going to be playing against. Uh, but this is like really really slow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the Arborea over here this time. We need to get to one of our tribute monsters. Ironically enough, last time our tribute monsters just were not. We're not getting drawn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy is, is probably doing a masochist challenge too. So, we'll see how this goes. And this is really frustrating because like building up all of these defenses would usually not be like that big of a deal. But it's we're, we don't play Raigeki. We don't play a lot of like removal. So, this is really not helping us. How much attack does this have? 1200, man. Our attacks are just like so weak. And like I said, I don't even know if he even is playing. Uh, I don't even know if he really is playing like a Masochist Challenge. I've seen two cards in play. So I don't even know what he's really doing. He could be playing some sort of just noob uh, defensive deck here. And I, I, I honestly have no idea. Because if he is, then he is. Like, I don't know what to say. Oh, boy. Yeah, he, I, I'm... I don't know what this is, but I'm fairly sure that he is playing a Masochist Challenge. Because these cards just don't even... They don't have any... Uh... God damn it, man. I can't even out this thing. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, you know what's crazy? I have back to square one for whatever this is. But I even if I do that, which I want to do, because I like to put Tribute Monsters back on you know the top of their deck... But the problem is, I, I have no way to deal with this card. And that's kind of the issue for me. So yeah, I can out... It, it's it's fantastic. It, the best thing you could possibly do is to put a... Uh, is to put a high level monster back on someone's deck. Because then they just kind of get stuck in this endless loop. Uh, but the problem is, I can't even... I can't even do it. Because it would be, be purposeless. Because then I can't get it over this thing. Okay, now we can get over this thing. Alright. And like I said, if he is playing the Masochist Challenge, which I think he is based on his graveyard, uh, then I don't probably don't have to worry about Torrential Tribute. Probably, but yeah. You know. So I'm going to go ahead and summon the Perry Knights here. I'm actually going to keep saving the back to square one because honestly, 
I don't know what this is. And I have the, the Sword and Shield card. So, chances are I can probably deal with this by flipping its stats. So, I'm probably just going to... Uh, I'm probably just going to leave it until I can see what it is. But overall, I'm not unhappy about this game. Like I said, I'd rather play against this than Self DK. Self DK is just, you know, just boring. Uh, Self DK, playing against a deck that is completely out of our range of, of, of skill. Not skill, but like our out of our range of, of capability just because our deck is just so underpowered at this point. What is this? Okay. That is like the perfect card for amazement attraction. <laughs> Zero defense, 2300 attack. That is it's absolutely perfect. It, it could not be better. And like I said, based on what I'm seeing, his back row is probably garbage. And this can be activated anytime. Yes, so I don't have to worry about it during the main phase. Nope. What is this? Do we care? Do we care? I think this is where we go on the offensive because we flip this card's attack and defense. Yeah, we flip this card's attack and defense and then next turn we put this monster on the top of the deck and we go on the offensive. And then we do this. So he takes some damage here. Because nothing on the monster in the monster zone has changed, so he can't like redeclare for any reason. So he's gonna take straight 1800. Yep. And then next turn we can just use this effect again to get that to zero. And then we're gonna use back to square one to put this on the top of his deck. Yep, all fine. It's crazy. We literally drew the best card in our. This is like our our god card. Somebody somebody mentioned it was like our uh, our spirit, our dual spirit is there can only be one. Woo! Man, am I happy to see that. Not because it's useful in this situation, but just because, you know, it's, I'm just happy to see it. Um, okay. Because we haven't seen it. I, I don't think that this is going to be usable in any way, honestly. I mean, I could get rid of, like, Coyote or something, but I don't think that card is going to be usable. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Discarding the Light Imprisoning Mirror to put this on the top of their deck. If all of this resolves properly, I think we have the game on lock here. What is this? Shuffle it. Okay, that is a very convoluted way to add a card back. So, okay, so it's like interesting. Wait, why did he do that? Why did he do that? Did he do that chain link one or two? So, my card was chain link one. He did that chain link two. So the card that I put on top of the deck is still the same card. That was almost a smart play. So if he did, the, if he waited for my card to resolve, I put the big monster on top of his deck. He could have used this to shuffle his deck to make sure that he doesn't draw the same monster. But he actually did the opposite of play around it. What does this do? Change an attribute. What does that help? Uh, nothing at all. Actually, let me try it. Sometimes you, you use a random effect and somebody will like get scared. I'm gonna change his monster to a light monster. Sometimes you like do something like this and like freak out and like waste in a gate. But this guy, this guy seems a little, he seems calm. That other play was actually like a half decent play if, if it went through. Now this is the question, like do I actually just go for the full attack or do I play a little more conservatively? Because if he's gonna draw the big monster next turn anyway, does it really matter? Do I have to like go all out? Because technically I I have, uh, with this I have I have game on board. So do I go for game? Or do I play safe? Honestly, I think we play safe. I think we have to play safe. What is this? This guy is 1 million percent. <laughs> he has to be playing the challenge. Alright, each time you take battle damage, place one counter. During your main phase 2, you can remove one counter. Target one rocket monster in grave. Blah, 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 blah. You can have special summons. Okay, he doesn't have any rocket monsters in his graveyard. All we need is one more card to be unveiled. And we basically have all the information that we need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And that is not, that's 53. So if we flip summon this, 53, that is still not enough, right? Yeah, so I'll just attack with what we have. Well, actually, it would have been enough if I used the Big Bang Shot. Technically, it's enough if we use that. 
So we got rid of that. So the only thing we don't know, we dissected everything. We took this guy apart. Um, we know everything except for this back row and this card right here. Everything else we know. And yeah, literally everything else we know. So now we just go to end phase. Uh, we know the exact card that he's about to draw. Well, we don't know what it is technically, but we know it's a two tribute monster. So he just drew a two tribute monster. He has this card we don't know, and then he has this face down that we don't know. So he has 900 life points, and we're almost there. Target one Loonlight Engraver Special Summon. Okay, he has the key. Yeah, he used it. Um, yeah, it's fine. I, I can't do anything about that. And we know the other one is a two tribute monster, so it doesn't matter. There's a Luna Light bottle discard draw. You can banish this from Graver. Discard a card, add one Luna Light. Oh, well, you can't. He has no more Luna Lights, then I guess we know that. Parallel Twister. Actually, I think I'm going to use. This is where I, I. I don't want to be dumb. I don't want to be dumb. Because I don't want to use the Parallel Twister, and this ends up being, like, something that lets him special summon a monster from the extra deck. Like, imagine he has that. I'm just going to go to battle phase and just try, try to play it safe. Yep, that's gone. And now, let's see if we can end this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was a good duel. That was a solid duel. I'm, I'm, I would bet probably... I bet good money he's probably playing the same challenge we are, so... I'm going to go check out his deck just because I think we're both, we're all curious, right? We all want to know the truth. Let's go, let's go check out what's going on there. All right, let's return. Uh, match history. Uh, this is the one I was telling you guys. I lost to the Sky Striker one. Uh, but let's see. Confirm opponent's deck. I'm very, very curious. He has to be playing the Masochist Challenge. Is his deck better than ours? I, you know, I, I think it's interesting. I think he's on day one. Uh, and we're maybe on, we're on day two, he's on episode one. So, he's got Arborea just like we do. He's got the Suprex. He's got the Condemned Witch, that's a good one, that's a really good one. And then, what else does he have that's good? This card is actually shockingly good. It just like, use it, it, the entire column gets bounced back to your hand. Uh, this is useless, but it's interesting that he pulled that. Um, for the most part, it's useless. I guess technically it's usable because it changes types in the graveyard. This is actually good. I'd love to have the Seal of Ori Calcos. Um, and then some of these random cards I can imagine are probably still good. Extra deck, I think for the most part, is extra deck is pretty. This is a super poly target. doesn't have super poly. This is at one. So overall, I actually think our, our deck uh, is actually... Is, is probably better for the Massacre's Challenge. But I just won a game. Let's go back. I want to. Oh, I almost. I almost jumped into another one. Somebody mentioned, I forgot to say this, somebody mentioned that we should, pro we should, it's okay, it's, somebody mentioned that we should change the rules for our run of the game, because obviously every run can be different, we don't have to do it exactly the same as other people have done it, uh, somebody mentioned that it would be a cool idea to, after, if we get three wins in a row, or some, something like that, there's like a, an additional reward that we can have, where if we get three wins in a row, we can get, for example, like a secret pack, but only if we get three wins in a row, and then somebody else mentioned in the comments that um, there's a, the the dual test that we should be able to do the the master dual proficiency test. Um, again, that is up to you guys. We get five legacy tickets and then we kind of add them up because these are are actually these conditions are actually tough to clear in this game mode. Like it might not be difficult to do in your regular game mode, but it's almost near impossible to, to ritual summon in the Masochist Challenge. So maybe we can do them, maybe not. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. If enough of you guys are like interested in it. But if you if more of you wanted me to just do it pure, I'll just do it pure. Um, let's go to the pack to get our master pack. I'm very excited for this. We have no shiny cards in here whatsoever, which is fine. Honestly, I just want to replace a lot of the really, really terrible monsters that we have in our deck. Um, Noble Knight Joan. I'm going to take time to actually like read these. This I think we're adding this. If this card attacks, it loses 300. If this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, sent to the graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, target one level four lower monster from your graveyard, add it to your hand. Does that exclude itself? I don't actually, does this, this, you can target one. I don't think this excludes itself, does it? I, we play this. We just straight up play this. This has better stats than the majority of the cards that we have in our deck. 
What in the world is this? Can I be normal summon a set that's not? Uh, three Mechlord cards, not happening. Gladiator Beast with really bad stats, but we have one other Gladiator Beast. We can use this, right? Because we have another Gladiator Beast. Wow, I think we can actually use this. Yeah, if this card attacked, you can shuffle into the deck, special summon Gladiator Beast Monster from your deck. I, I'm playing this because it has better stats than other monsters that we have, and we have another Gladiator Beast. Another Watt, so we, now we have two Watts. This is not bad either. If this uh, inflicts battle, dam battle damage to your opponent from a direct attack, your opponent discards one random card. That's actually not even terrible. We have worse cards in our deck. Um, Fluffle Octopus, I'm probably not going to play. We are pulling a lot of repeat archetypes, which is actually quite nice. We have another Fluffle card. We have another... We have multiple Fluffle cards, multiple uh, Watt cards, multiple Gladiator Beasts. So this is actually interesting to pull. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to play this, but that's... Interesting that those are coming together. Uh, activate assault mode. Nope, don't have one. Uh, don't. Nope, we can't. So three level one monsters don't. Can't be destroyed by battle at the end of the damage step. Uh, Scarf battle to attachment. Double the attack. Um, do we have three level one monsters? I mean, if we if we have three level one monsters, we can turn this into a monster. Can't be destroyed by battle. Okay. And then UA blockbacker. You can special summon by returning one UA monster, which we don't have. You can special summon UA monster once per turn during special summon a monster. Change battle position if you do negate their effects. This actually isn't bad, but these stats are really bad. Because this is technically an interruption for us. So we can put this on board, but I don't think we're putting this on board. Turn one. This is like a really slow interruption. I'm probably not going to play this. I'd rather play the shit all tribute to monsters. So in our deck, we're probably going to put this. We're probably going to put this. And that's about it. I think two cards. Now, I don't know. Did I actually get any legacy packs? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, where are they? Legacy bonus packs. Is that a legacy pack or a bonus pack? You need one. Okay, so we didn't earn one, unfortunately. So let's go. let's go edit real quick. Let's go edit the deck and then just include those two cards. I have a rank by newest. So, yeah, Jones going in. The other Gladiator Beast is going in. And then, what am I even cutting? Probably just two, two just bad stat. Not that. Uh, maybe this. This is this is getting cut easily. This Reborn's a Spellcaster. This is a 1,000 attack. This is 800. What Spellcasters do we even have? This right here. Watt Kiwi's getting cut and that's it i don't have to do any more work because i'm not putting anything else i am going to put this in just in case um yeah that those packs were lackluster but let's go let's go duel another duel all right so we've got our next game hopefully it's hopefully it's some similar to the game we just played we always won the coin flip man why can't we do this on our main account on the main account i never win coin flips uh, but hopefully this is the worst case scenario for us is, of course, if it's a meta deck. So if it's a meta deck or if it's a, um, yeah, either a meta deck is terrible or some other form of tomfoolery like that. A meta deck or self TK. Like self TK is fine because we get a free pack and we can like boost up our deck. But I actually find it fun to, to, to play against people. This is looking very good. This is, this is exactly what we are looking to play against. This is this is it. This is happening. This come, things are coming together. Uh, normal summon this. It's gonna lose. This is this is. I I swear I'm like the pharaoh when I'm on this. So this loses 300 attack. So it'll still come down to 1600. When when Amazonas uh, any damage that Amazonas takes is inflicted to us instead of her instead of the controller of this card. So we will actually this card will actually reduce the amount of damage that we would inflict to ourselves. Like, you can't make this up. I really am like the Pharaoh sometimes. Sometimes just the right card just gets drawn at the right time. Like I said, I hope this guy is playing a Masochist Challenge too. Because this will just make the lower ranks really, really fun for everybody involved. Or if it's a noob, right? So our best case scenario is it's a noob with a starter deck. Because the starter deck is actually kind of challenging to play against. Nope, it's an Amazonist deck. This can get dangerous. So, why is he even entering the battle phase? All right, if this is, if this is, if, if they, the fusions, if they summon the fusions, okay, things are not looking good. If they summon the fusions, we, we can, we can lose here. Yeah. 
the fusions i think a lot of the fusions have effects like oh this this card can't be destroyed by card effects can't be targeted can't be this can't be that can't be this uh if they summon that we pretty much lose uh but based on what what i'm seeing right now things aren't looking too too bad not quite all right let me see do i out this and let them draw a card this doesn't really help us, so we need to out this. It's 1800, but we don't have anything that outs an 1800 attack monster. And next turn, they get to fuse. This would have been nice if it was in our deck. All right, I'm just going to set Arborea and pass. I think I'm just going to do that. This is not looking super winnable. Like I said, if he goes into his fusions, I'm pretty much done. The hope is that he doesn't have them. His, is, his monster's at 19. Arbori is gone. The problem with Karaz is as good as of a card as Karaz is. When you use Karaz's effect, the cards that you destroy are... That's pretty good. Uh, the cards that you destroy with Karaz, it, it's, it's kind of frustrating. Yeah, the cards that you uh, you you you, you draw, the, the cards that you destroy with Karaz, the person whose cards are destroyed draws. So if I destroy his cards with Karaz, I'm giving him so much card advantage. So that's just not good. Um, this I'm going to save because when I take battle damage, I'll special summon it for free. And damn, I think we just pass again. I don't know if he read this card, so I think he won't attack it, but... I think next turn we go off. Unfortunately, I just, I just can't let him draw, and I need I need to save the Karaz for something that actually matters and not... Not not these little monsters, because if he, if he summons something from the extra deck that can't be destroyed, or, or something from the extra deck, um, we're going to have so much more trouble outing it. Unfortunately, our, our stats are just not that great right now. He seems to be playing some kind of a pure deck, which is fine. I don't, I, fine with me. And we're going to summon the Parry Knight. And this is stronger than all his monsters. And then we don't get the special summon from the hand, but we get to... Do we want to add this back? We probably do want to add this back. Honestly, I don't think this Iron Dragon is going to be coming in handy. Uh, just because... The way that this person is stacking things up... I, they haven't set a single card... We can add back Arborea. Wow, that's really good. See, that could come in that could come in handy later down the line, but right now that just doesn't do much. But I can imagine that being very good later. And he's still got that polymerization at any time that can just absolutely demolish us, depending on what he has. This is a really good card. This can actually out whatever the heck he summons out of the extra deck. So now I can be a little more aggressive. Um I have the, the one that destroys spawn and trap cards in my deck, so I don't think this is really necessary, and then this doesn't really do anything for us right now. So I think we just start destroying things by battle. What does this do? Uh, return a special summon blah, 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 for the rest of the turn. Amazon is this card a special summon palm. Okay, so this is fine. So we, now we just attack the attack position monsters. And I'm just going to start. I'm going to set this, hopefully bait him into attacking. And then we can actually use this to trigger the Dimensional Slice. That's not good either. That gives them a boost. Um, and then, it, yeah, if they're destroyed, then they get to Special Summon another one. That's going to get really annoying very, very quickly. Yeah, it's going to get bad soon. What does this do? This lets us destroy a Spawn Trap card. Just lets him destroy a spawn trap card, actually. That's not good for us. Actually, does this negate? If if this is chain link two, will this negate his monster? I swear, I like sometimes I am like the Pharaoh. Like, what are the chances that we have the exact card to out the exact card that he has? You can't make this stuff up. How did I just do that? Like, we had the perfect card to out the exact card. That, like, it's unreal. So I'm gonna actually going to summon this. Activate Dimension Slice, which I probably should save, but, you know, I'll, I'm trying to pick apart this board a little bit. He keeps swarming. Mo ah, I shouldn't have done that because he's going to summon a new one. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. It's too late now. I banish this too. Yeah, I should have saved that. That was that was a dumb play. You gotta recognize the truth. Uh, this is 16. That's 16. Uh, those are just too good to give up right now. So we're just gonna battle, do some damage, and then he's gonna be able to special summon from the deck. I think with the field spell. I should have probably saved the dimension slice for later, but it's fine. Amazonus Princess is annoying. Just Amazonus Queen. Onslaught is not good for us. But we have the, the best Diarian deck, so we can out the Onslaught. Uh, if need be. If need be. So now we, we can end phase here. Like I said, I'm saving this Karaz for later. He doesn't... Uh, maybe he just doesn't... Maybe he didn't... He's like... A, he plays Amazonus, but he didn't pull... The fusions, because I'm pretty sure the fusions are URs and stuff. So maybe he didn't pull them. Maybe we got lucky. Or maybe maybe he has the tiger. And the tiger requires you to... Uh, the tiger requires you to have other stuff available. So maybe, yeah, maybe he just doesn't have the tiger. That's not good. So he's going to take... I'm going to take the battle damage, but it's only for... Why would you attack that? Oh, I guess to trigger that effect. But now he's going to have that permanently negated. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, he's going to have the princess permanently negated. But I guess, yeah, with that thing on the field. And then I'll take some damage. Um... I guess we can summon the wind guy and then do the Karaz play. What is this? This protects him from battle, right? Yeah, can't be destroyed by battle. I guess, yeah, we have to. Because Karaz can destroy two cards. That's that's actually quite important to us. It can destroy the queen. Here we go. This is not going to be good. Did his monster have to special summon a defense, by the way? Oh, yeah, it did. This is not good. Oh, it's an SR. Can it be destroyed by battle or card effects? That is not good. I think we lose now. We don't have an out to this, unfortunately. I mean, we can attack it with the Vijam. And then he's fusing again. Oh, he's going to go into the Empress. Into the, like, what is he summoning? Like, the Augusta, basically. You know, another Empress here. It cannot be targeted other card effects. Uh, you control with card effects. Can I be destroyed by your opponent's card effects? Fush, okay. And now they can't be destroyed by battle, and they can't be destroyed by card effects, basically. All right, so we have to do a little bit of, of math here. But we're not totally out of it as long as we have this on the field. Like, as long as this is in existence, I think we're actually good. Um, we also have this, but he doesn't have any defense position monsters. So, unfortunately, if he had one monster in defense, then we could probably get around uh, this a little bit. We can summon the Karaz and pop these two, so we can do that. But does this protect your... Cannot target Amazonas cards with card effects. Like any Amazonas card. So even the f village and even the face down card. Now the face down card is not an Amazonas card. Um, and that's fortunate. So I think I'm going to summon Karaz. And I'm going to pop this to draw. Because it's doing nothing on the field at this point. Because it's too weak. And I'm going to pop this cause since it's face down. Because I can still target it. Uh, but then it says... Also, those cards can't be destroyed by card effects. So it doesn't even matter if I did do it or not. Um, it's not going to help. So this we probably save for now. Just enter the battle phase and do some damage. Well, we still can. Yeah, well, I, it doesn't matter. He has no cards in his hand anyway. Oh, shoot. <laughs> After damage calculation... Amazonas battled an opponent's monster. This goes face up and you can banish that opponent's monster. I wonder if this 
I wonder if this dodges. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. All right. <laughs> we really are. I, I don't see us winning this game. I'm not going to lie. I just don't. I, I should have set a monster, but like I, I don't see us winning this game. I'm trying to think to outs in this deck, but I think he's got too much going on. This this summons a new monster when they're destroyed by battle. This protects from battle. Uh, this summons a new monster from the hand uh, during the battle phase. I can, he can summon an Amazonist. This also banishes after they battle. This protects from targeting and destruction. I think I think they've got too much too much cooking right now. I don't think we're going to be able to win this duel. At the beginning, I think it it looked okay, but I don't. And this gives them protection too, right, of some kind. Gains 100 for every Amazon. I don't. I don't think we're winning this one. Ugh, yeah, it's over. Well, we tried. Uh, yeah, this this was like you can make the argument that I could have played the Dimension Slice better, but I don't. I don't actually think that that would have made a difference. Cause like, let's say we save Dimension Slice and we banish the Augusta. I. I don't. I don't actually think that that helps anyway because we, then we, we wouldn't have been able to destroy those spawn trap cards anyway. Uh, th th his deck just has too it's, it's almost like the perfect deck in certain ways to play against this. Uh, had very, it just has a lot of recursion and we just don't have any synergy. So uh, that would have been tough regardless. Let's go look at his deck. I think this is something I'm going to add. I'm just going to look at our opponent's deck just for research because that, like I said, I think that one was actually uh, a winnable one. Yeah, he had, a, he had a half decent deck. One thing I will say though, he only had one copy of this. So if we had destroyed this, he wouldn't have been able to recycle it. Same thing with the field spell. So he only had one copy of this and one copy of the field spell. So if we popped it, maybe that would have made a big a big enough difference. But it's interesting that he has this deck. This deck overall is actually quite good. Uh, he should probably throw in goes in and Rivalry and Skill Drain into the deck. Uh, but let's go, next duel. De that wasn't like a, a terribly devastating loss. I definitely misplayed, but it wasn't like it wasn't like the end of the world type of a misplay. All right, they won the coin flip, so they'll choose, and it's exactly what I would have chosen anyway. All right, oof, that is a decent hand. Anytime you see there can only be one, there's you know you get a little bit happy. He has a, a blue eyes image. Fingers crossed he's playing the blue eye starter deck. Fingers crossed. D shifter. Doesn't affect our deck. Your deck has to be decent for D shifter to matter. But that's not a good sign. That's usually not a good sign. So this could be Floundaries. Oh, Metaphys. Interesting. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Uh, now they're all worms. And there can only be one. Says they can only control one worm. So that is really good for us. So all of their uh, banish effects in the standby phase aren't doing a damn thing. So we, we literally have the out. The problem is sometimes the, the issue with us is we have the out, but we don't have any follow up plays that can actually stop them from 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 winning the duel. That, that's our problem is, yes, we have the out, but then we have no follow up because our monsters are like, you know, like. 1300 attacks so like even if we lock him into just this one metaphys ragnarok this thing has 2400 attack and I, I i just don't have an out to that 2400 attack monster and i'm pretty sure the gain off this card is is permanent right is it permanent this card gains 300 attack for each metaphys card not until the end phase it's permanent and then he gets to banish another one so whatever he's vanishing is going to be. If this card is special summon a manifest spell and trap cards. If this card is banished during the next standby phase, you can shuffle it. Add a manifest card. Okay. So obviously we set this. And I suppose we protect our life points with this. The Sonic Chick because he can't destroy it. And then... Uh, do we hit it in the standby phase? The there can only be one, or do we surprise him with it? Do we allow him to normal summon something else? I mean, I guess we we hit it in the standby phase. Yeah. Now we, let's let's get some more information out of him. Yeah, it's fine.
Yeah, let's get some more information. So he added a card. Which one did he add just now? Uh, he added the Metaphys. This one, the one that destroys spells and trap cards. So I think I'm just going to chain this. And uh, before he has an opportunity to summon a, a card that's like another worm. Again, we have him in a pretty decent lock. But we literally have no follow-up whatsoever. So he's going to set something. doesn't matter. He can't get over the Sonic Chick. Because his monster has more attack than it should. And then this card is actually good. Uh, but, um, yeah, this card is actually good, but it, 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 it can be a little iffy, uh, cause it lets him banish draw so he can eventually draw the out faster than most decks. Swords are feeling like, <laughs> there goes our monster. There goes the surprise, but I guess he couldn't out our monster anyway. Just not going to read it. Nothing new. It's nothing I wouldn't do, right? I wouldn't have read it either. <laughs> I open Master Packs. I don't read the cards. Why, well, you know, it's no surprise he didn't read it. This card is actually really good, too. Like, I... What is it? It gains 300 attack for each Metaphys card banished. But this card is actually, like, really good. Because um, it, 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 like, you it, it allows you to, on normal summon, send three cards. And on top of that, um, it's a tuner. So that card is just really good in a variety of ways. What does this do again? Target one and banish it during the end phase. Yeah, this card's pretty good. Um, now the question is, what do we do to our opponent here? We don't really have any plays. We can go into the Karaz and then pop this, and then but he has he has Swords of Revealing Light, so it's not even going to help anything. I think we just just pass here. Like it's nothing. We have nothing to really like. Nothing's gonna. We have nothing to do. We just pass. Unfortunately, we have nothing to do. Karaz is like a card that's good in theory, but then. Like, in practice, it can really be a crappy card. Uh, because, it, it, like, it pops cards and it's removal, but it gives our opponent re free resources. So, it's, it's, it's a bit of a frustrating card. We're in a weird spot where we just, we just like, I'd like to play more aggressively, but, like, what am I going to do? Let's say I summon Karaz. Karaz can't attack the same turn. I pop this and this. He can't attack. And then I give my opponent back control, and he can summon the... You can find a way to summon the Metaphys. Oh my God! Here we go. If another Metaphys is banished. You can. Yep. Now we're. Now that's gone. It's pretty much over. And this is at zero, but he still can't out it. Um, yeah, but now he's just basically. I, I have no like plays to really do here. Daedalus is good, but what does it do? Special banish all special summon monsters. Are oh my God! Yeah, this guy has everything. But it's not like he has everything, but he, he literally he drew it. So it's not like it's not like he just has everything by by some some sheer consequence here. There's nothing I could have done really differently in this game because he would have he would have had all of this stuff anyway, if we're being honest. Um, so even if I had like set this to protect my life points, he had Raigeki anyway. Um, I couldn't attack because he has this on the field. Even if I pop this, I couldn't attack. Like there's nothing that I could have really done differently. In this particular game, um, yeah, he just he, he played us. He has a better deck. I think I think we're done. I'm gonna check this draw, and depending on what I draw, I'll probably scoop. Uh, this this does nothing. Yeah, this is this game is over. Yeah, as much as that sucks. Uh, again, let's go check his deck. Just out of curiosity, right? I, I, let's go check our opponent's deck. Yeah, this deck we just, we were not beating this deck. What's funny is a lot of things in this deck don't matter. Like. This doesn't matter, right? D shifter doesn't matter. Um, triple tactics does not matter. I'm never going to activate a monster effect on his main phase. Uh, dimensional fissure doesn't matter. Like a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. Cross out. This is, would have been a dead. Why is he even playing cross out? He has no targets for cross out. Why would he play this? That's hilarious. Like uh, Reaper. What are you going to Reaper? You have nothing to Reaper. This deck is just full of dead cards, but he drew, he actually drew the, the, the best card he could, which is the, uh, the, was it Ragnarok? Yeah, that was, in, I've, that is such a, he literally just has dead cards in there. But hey, we're in rookie tier, we can't really get mad. We're going second again. Uh, 
our floodgate is good but we have nothing to back it up with unfortunately at this point we really need to draw like we need to pull some cards that are actually like half decent we just need some stronger monsters i think some more removal uh, just various stuff like that this hand is not bad at all uh, but it's not great either it just depends on what he's playing okay we'll see how this goes this isn't the end of the world yet it is dogmatica he adds Fleur. Uh, I think a monster from the extra deck is on the field. He can special summon. I don't. I'm never going to summon from the extra deck. That's the good thing. So he's never going to be able to use that effect, as far as I can tell. Uh, this we have not been able to use yet. So we, that's a free special summon. We don't even have an out to Dogmatica Ecclesia right now. And unfortunately, okay. So what I, I'm going to do this and this and dimension slice will trigger if we summon the vanquish so i if i reveal an a fire then this gets 3000 defense but i don't have a fire so i'm not going to use back to square one on ecclesia because ecclesia is unfortunately just too good to do that with Ecclesia will just be able to next turn normal summon and then search again. So that, that's the worst kind of monster that you could possibly use back to square one on. So we're just going to set monsters. And right now his Dogmatica Punishment is obviously dead. Yeah, it's fine. Again, do we save the Dimension Slice for later? I think so. Like it's just... It's a good card. I can summon this and then banish Ecclesia, but I mean, like, this card just does nothing right now either. At least later it can protect our life points. Right now it's just doing nothing. I mean, I guess I could have made the Prime Material. That's See, this is, this is a card that you always want to see. I just love this card. Like, I wish this card was glued to my opening hand. It's, like, such a great card. And I think it's what, probably of all of the cards, there can only be one, and Vijam are my two favorite cards. This card is like, I don't even know how it's locked in cubics. It's so good. Like, I don't, even, it's, it's so generically good. Like, I don't even see how this is really even a cubic card. It's just like, it can be destroyed by battle. And then on top of that, it just goes into the back row and negates the monster. It's just such a great card. Oh, I think he's playing Familiar Possessed. This is going to be an embarrassing loss if I lose. Did he just normal summon this? <laughs> if you control a spellcaster, you can summon this card from your hand. Special summon. Uh, I'm just going to leave this because I'm good. And this card has recovered. This is actually a great card. This is the kind of card I'd love to get. The next standby phase, it brings itself back. This card is actually really good. He's like reading it. How do I out it? Oh, man, Karaz is really like starting to get on my nerves here. Um... Again, I think we just pass. Like, there's nothing we can really... Like, I contribute this and the attack. I don't know what he... Ha like, I'm sure he has Dogmatica Punishment face down. So, I don't want to do that yet. I probably should have taken the damage that he would have... I should have just used the Vijam. Put it in the back row. Taken whatever damage with this thing. Uh, special Summon the Vanquished Soul. And then Tribute it for Prime Material Dragon. That's the play I probably should have done. Now I know he's, what deck he's playing, and, and his deck is a little bit too... It's, it's, it's a bit too constructed. I don't think this is going to end well for us. One thing that is good is he can't summon the Fleur de Lis, the, the Knight. He can't summon that because our deck is too terrible to make a single one of our extra deck monsters, which are all absolute garbage. Even if we wanted... Like, look at this. Four level 5 monsters. You've got to be kidding me. I can't even imagine so many 4 level 5 monsters. 2 photons. This is good. Water monsters. This is good. This is not good. But 3 level 3 monsters. This is a good card. We have 1 Ojama. So we can almost make this. Uh, this. 3 level 1s. I would not give up 3 Vidjoms to, to summon a monster that does the exact same thing as Vidjom. And then this is a really good card. But we need to pull more Odd Eye stuff. Now the hope is maybe he, this guy gets frustrated and scoops. That's like that's always the hope. But he seems to be a, a fairly new familiar possessed player. We need more like generic board wipes, kind of like a, like a torrential would be nice, something like that. That would be like a decent 
a decent thing to play. A Link monster. Okay, interesting. Probably a familiar possessed. This guy's like obsessed with them. What do I have in the graveyard of fire? No, I have an earth. Fleur de Lis is back on the grind. And then he gets to negate our monster. Which sucks for us because now it can be destroyed by battle. Ah. Like, it, it's... Like, on one hand, I should probably be... Okay, this is pretty much game here. On one hand, I should be playing more aggressive. Like, I should have probably... Uh, you know, summoned... I mean, we still have some plays here, right? Because we have the Dimension Slice, and that's... Why even negate it? Oh, I mean, you negate it for the Iris Sword Soul. Like, we still have plays here. But... This makes all Dogmatica cards gain. Um, yeah, that sucks. That's fine. I guess he just. I'm. I'm gonna use the Dimension Slice and the and the and this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save it for the end. Or do I use it now? Technically, it's better to use it now, but then I won't be able to summon Karaz. And this, when I special summon a monster from the hand, what happens? He gets to special summon a monster from his hand. So I guess that's not that bad. I don't know what else he has in the hand, but... I mean, I guess we can bl summon this and then banish, but then we won't be able to use, summon the Karaz. Then we have back to square one for this. This is a tough choice. Because technically, I want to banish a monster that hasn't attacked yet. Ideally. Yeah, I think... Ugh, man, this is annoying. What a weird scenario. Yeah, I think we do this. Alright. And the thing is, I don't even know what he has face down, so my, I'm, I'm like panicking over this. You could have like a strike and just, just stop the entire uh, line of what we're doing here anyway. Like, he's... You know, he all he needs is a decent card, and he's got his beat. But this will allow us to activate the Dimensional Slice. Right, when a monster is special summoned, activate. I can banish this. We probably should have done this on the Fleur de Lis, but it's whatever. Solemn judge. This, this is exactly what I mean. Like he, he could just have something like this, and then it just completely stops what we're doing anyway. So whatever, however smart we think we are, it, he can just have something much better. And now we do not lose. That's good, though. We blocked an attack, so we don't lose, and he's at 4,000 life points. So we can, if we, if we could sneak a quick punch here, we might be able to win something, but it's unlikely. Like, the problem is we just don't have a lot of cards that just mass out everything. So if he puts four monsters with two, 3,000 attack on board, it's like, I, I have no outs. That's not a bad card at all, but the problem is we have to take damage for that card to do anything. And we can't afford to take damage right now because anything he does damage with will essentially win him the game, right? And it has to be an opponent's attacking monster. So I can't even like battle phase attack, crash into this, take a thousand, and then summon parry knight. Like I can't even do that. There's nothing I can do. I think this game's over. I'm trying to like find every possibility back back to the front, even if I put one monster back. Even if I put this back, it doesn't change anything. Uh, yeah, this game's over. Alright, so this is our opponent's deck here. Like I said, it was Familiar Possessed. Uh, this is a tough deck to play against too, because this, this card just basically summons new ones every single time. Uh, this is, uh, not this one, the other one. This is a free draw every single turn, every single time one's summoned. Um... This is a good card. Like all of these cards, just, just, just they out resource us way too badly in our deck right now. We really need to play like a starter deck. That's what we need to play against. We need to play one of the starter decks. We need to play one of the weaker decks because this has been very, very tough right now. We need to get some new master packs. That last one we pulled gave us almost nothing new. So there we go. I'm going to go second because, like I said, we just need the extra resource. We need to go one card deeper in our deck. It doesn't really matter what our opponent sets up for the most part. Um, 
we just need to put some kind of resources into the game here. Back, to, like, it's not objectively, like, this isn't even a bad hand. We have Sonic Chick. Arborea does really nothing for us at this point. Flint, uh, Cragger does nothing for us at this point other than flick 500. Um, Gladiator Beast, um, Darius is actually not bad. What does this do when it's summoned? Uh, you can target one Gladiator Beast monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target and negate its effects. That's actually not bad. Uh, but more importantly, this will summon that fish guy. And the fish guy destroys a monster. So, it's pretty decent. Um... We're hoping at this point, I'll be honest with you, um, after three losses in a row, I'm kind of hoping for a self TK. This is the, exactly what you like to see. All right, this guy is, he's hes one that, i maybe he'll be better at better, uh, later ranks, but right now he's honestly kind of like getting on my nerves because he's just not playable. Now the question is, all our monsters, again, are kind of weak. I, I want to save Darius for removal because I want to use him against, like I want to use the Fishman later. So is it even worth attacking with 800? Like, is it even worth attacking? Or, like, is it is it really? I think we just set this. I, honestly, isn't even worth attacking right now if we're being completely honest. So I'm just going to set that in defense mode. Like, I'm going to put a monster in attack mode. There's 800 attack. Like, what is our opponent even going to... Even going to do? What's funny is sometimes you go second. Your opponent, like, assumes you're playing, like, Mekanko. Which I hope that at this rank, people are not having that thought process. Because then that means that they have some understanding of the meta. And if they have that much of an understanding of the meta, they probably should be at a higher rank. And not uh, down here... <laughs> in in the the bottom of the barrel like like i would imagine that this rank would be reserved for exclusively this challenge and starter decks okay this is the kind of stuff we like to see this is the kind of nonsense we like to see what are we playing against when you think you see things like this just straight minus ones reload this is the kind of thing we need to see and reload honestly wouldn't even would i even play reload twister pay 500 is this self dk did my wish come? Did my wish come true? So he's destroying his own card, and he's gonna be able to reload for less cards. I'll I'll accept that. What is this like? Budget FTK, self TK? What is this? Self TK in twenty turns. This is gonna be the least lucrative. This is gonna be the least lucrative reload in in the history of time. And then he gets three new cards. All right, fair enough. Hopefully they're not good. I right, we could really use a master pack because we just have nothing on the follow up. We the, the, we couldn't out a Dogmatica Ecclesia for like three. Okay, this is self decay. This is the slowest, most budget self decay deck I've ever seen in my life. This is like terrible. It is unbelievably slow. He's gonna pay three thousand, and hopefully we get a little closer to winning. We really needed this. Honestly, we really needed this. I wouldn't have. You know, I, I don't like to play against self decay rather be playing against the blue eye starter deck or the uh, or the synchro starter deck or the link starter deck that's ideally what i'd like to be playing at this rank but i will more than accept a self tk right now because our deck is less than playable i honestly would this card wouldn't be too bad for our deck either because we're kind of slow and this deck wouldn't be garbage ogre kuzaki yeah he's playing self tk and he's like i said budget self tk <laughs> he's not trying to spend any more than he has to wrap it up buddy all right now that i know he's playing self tk this see this is the kind of stuff i want to get rid of so badly because it's just it does nothing so now that i know he's playing self tk and i know he has probably no chance of beating us i'm going to go ahead and switch sonic chick to attack mode and start attacking we gotta we, we, we i think we we both share a goal here so let's 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 end this and um is this mandatory no i'm not going to use it because the water guy is actually weaker than darius so i'm just going to leave darius on field i think water guys like what is he like 800 attack 600 attack let's let's leave darius where he is it's crazy because it, the self tk is like so boring and uncompetitive but at the same time it's like you kind of need it in the early game because when you're not playing against like the the blue eye starter deck uh the the game can be really really unfun to play Although, I'll be honest with you, today's games have been, like, kind of fun. Like, our, our opponents are, are a little are, are a little mentally 
not, not all there. You know, their 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 builds are 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 a little lackluster, which has been good, except for except for the guy who is playing the Masochist Challenge himself. That guy's in a world of hurt. So I you know I, I'm not going to attack him. He's 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 got his own problems. But the other people with the with the cross out designator and the Metaphys deck with no targets, that guy was an interesting human being. What happens with this guy? Well, we check the logs. Oh, okay. He garbage lord. You add garbage lord. Okay. Special summon garbage lord. Okay. 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 Please attack one of my monsters. Oof. Good stuff. Is he link summoning? I've never seen this out of self TK. This is the most innovative self TK Baba Barber. That's actually a link monster we can honestly use. It sucks, but it's not bad. Yeah, so I guess maybe maybe he's just trying to complete his dailies, so he's just summoning this. He probably didn't expect this game to last this long either. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm starting to lose track of what's going on here. This guy's like in his own world. I, I didn't see the point of any of those moves, so I'm just gonna enter the battle phase and 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 hopefully end this game. Main phase two, if for some reason he survives, we're gonna use Flint Cragger. Come on, come on, come on, come on, buddy. This is crazy. Like even self DK takes us forever to beat. It's our monster is just really weak. We really need to replace some of these stat lines. Like, they are just too weak. Like, Arborea is a good card, but it's 800 attack, and we don't have any Link monsters. We don't have any Synchro monsters. We don't have any anything. Uh, but I'll take, like I said, I, I, I'll take the self TK at this point. We asked for the self TK, and we got the self TK. I really need to open a Master Pack. Hopefully, I get a leg Legacy Pack because I got robbed in the last one. I didn't get any. And we rank up again. We're moving through Bronze quick. Legacy Pack. What is this? This monster can attack directly. We literally have one of these already. We don't even play it. What's the typing? Aqua level one. It's not the best typing out there, but okay, that's fair. Uh, just for just for research, right? Let's go see. Let's go see the confirm the opponent's deck. Interesting stuff. Yeah, it is self DK, like super budget self DK. Uh, why does he play this? What is this search? Oh, the cyber card, the cyber fusion, this thing. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's go get a pack. All right, so here's our master pack. Oof, we got a super air. Hopefully, sometimes they fool you, but we have a super air by the looks of it. It's hidden somewhere in all of this. What does this do? Amazement, another amazement card. Okay, let's see what uh, the equip to your opponent's monster. Banish the equipped monster until the end phase. This is exactly the kind of thing that we need exactly it um yeah this is actually good and if it's target one amazement card monster so we can't use the equip to your own monster effect unfortunately but this is actually good this is going in the deck because it, it can move things out of the way for us uh mjolnir your graveyard i don't think we're going to be able to play that right now a spiral don't control a spiral super agent that's not happening forbidden if you control exactly two monsters of these types, we can't summon from the extra deck. Um, gladiator Taming. Okay, we do have two Gladiator Beasts. If a face of Gladiator Beast monster on the field activates this effect, that's not maybe bad until... For, for now, it's bad, though. Like, for now, it's bad, but we only have two, so there's just no way to guarantee get that off. Uh, we don't have enough tuners, non-tuners, special summon of starters. We don't have any any of the things for that. Here's our super. Wow. Okay. Shooting star dragon. One tuner synchro monster and starter dragon. I think it's fair to say we will never summon this card. Ever. This is an ultra rare. And this is a tuner synchro monster. And then we have to have all of the appropriate things to even be able to summon this i i think it's fair to say that card will never be used by us what does this do tribute a warrior target a card on the field destroy it draw one card very good card this is a card i'm gonna i'm gonna keep in my back pocket but i don't think we have enough warriors at this moment to actually use this 
if if maybe we'll create some sort of a warrior pile this is a fairy right if we created some sort of a warrior pile later on i will bring that back but this is actually a good enough card if we can have access to the extra deck we can summon a warrior every single time this will be very very good overall i think this this is a very good card just not right now i think the only one going in there as of this stuff is the amazement uh attraction thing it sucks because we, we really actually don't even need spell and trap cards as much as we need monster cards. We need just straight up regular um, monsters, just just high, the higher attack monsters. Okay, we got possibly some. These are the real trickster packs. Sometimes it's shiny, you open, and it's like nothing in there. It's like two 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 non hollow cards. Okay, this time we got one though. Photon Leo. 2100 level 6 okay when this card is normal summon you can have your opponent shuffle their entire hand to the deck draw the same number of cards they shuffle into the deck how does that help us in any way what they get to draw the out faster that is that's not going to work uh nimble beaver nimble beaver this card's limited to one isn't it then they limit this card this is actually a legitimately good card but i think they limited this to one i, I have to double check the list because it'll show us in a second that's a legitimately good card but i don't think it's good for our purposes and it's now limited to one what are the chances that that would actually affect that would actually affect us all the way over here it is limited to one what a horrific situation all right so i think the only card that we're adding is the amazement thrill trail which actually is temporary removal um, as far as what we are getting rid of in the deck, what's like, I have never drawn this card. All of the duels that we played, I have yet to draw this card. I'm probably just going to cut it. it. Discard a monster and then steal a monster with that same attack until the end phase. So it's basically like, I honestly don't think this card is even going to be useful ever. So I'm probably just going to cut it. it. It's crazy that it's lasting in the deck that long. And I'm not even cutting it because it was bad. I'm cutting it because it was, it, it's just, un, it, it, we haven't, we, number one, we haven't used it. And theoretically it, it's bad even if we did use it. Uh, but yeah, I cut that photon Leo. I just, I just don't see how that card can be usable. It has worse stats than this. It has worse stats than this. It has worse stats than Karaz. It has worse stats than this. It doesn't summon itself. I, I, Maybe we can cut Hell Shit All, Howl, but, or Hallow, but, yeah, I, I think that that's pretty much it. So, let's, let's get another game. We really gotta, we gotta get back out there and start playing again. Alright, hopefully this is, what do we want? Because we, we literally have had our wishes answered. We've had Self-DK. Uh, do we want another Self-DK? I want to, I actually want to play. I don't want to have Self-DK. Oh, why not? Thank you. I'll go second, and... Do we want self decay? No. You know what? I, like I said, I want to play against the starter deck. I want to get our revenge on blue eyes or, or the synchro starter deck with the road warrior and stuff like that. I want a little bit of a challenge. I want to be able to play around stuff. We have had back to square one almost every game. And I have that, that card that steals a monster. I have never drawn once. It's over. We are not winning this game. We are not winning this game. This card, this deck banishes 15 times in one turn. We are not winning this game. What's this extra deck? Is he 15 cards? Yep, we're not winning this game. Sorry, buddy. I don't know why this guy's smurfing all the way down here. Go to the higher ranks. Nobody wants to see you. Get out of rookie tier with your mar with your with your stupid deck. Let's see what his build was. Let's see it. Just you know, for it's always interesting to see. Come on, man. Why are you down here, man? Why are you in rookie tier? Look at this meta deck. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Makes me sick. I don't know why that guy is where he is. Makes me absolutely sick. All right, here we go. We lost a coin flip. Irrelevant, honestly, irrelevant. All right, let's see. Did we go first? We're going first. Okay. <laughs> of course, we're going first. We got two of the the, the, the the bad boys back here. We have the Sonic Chick and we've got the cubic the cubic seed. Which one do we set? Probably the cubic seed. Do we set this as a bluff? Absolutely not. But it, it, let's see let's see what our opponent, Mr. <laughs> Great name, by the way. He's I, I would imagine he's probably playing Dark Magician. I don't think we can be Dark Magician at this point in our at this point in our in our journey. I don't think we're beating Dark Magician. I think Dark Magician will absolutely demolish us right now uh oh is he disconnecting is the mcdonald's wi-fi finally is it is, is it past this is, is it over 
red eyes. This could be red eyes, it could be toons, because this could go either way. He could summon a red eyes toon dragon, or he can summon a regular red eyes. Either way, red eyes we can deal with. Just regular red eyes, right? If he summons a regular run of the mill, I'm not going to write it. Red eyes the archetype. Red eyes the archetype is no joke. If he summons just a red eyes, we can deal with it. I think we can deal with this, especially with the Vijam. Now, let's see what he summons beyond that. Does he just go to battle phase? Thank God he didn't have a black metal dragon. If he had a black metal dragon, you know somebody's a moron when they set before the... If they set before the battle phase. Nah, I can't be complaining. I don't even read half the cards I, I pull out of the packs. Let's see here. <laughs> What's funny is Vajam has the effect to... Uh, Go into the back row and then negate, but that effect just doesn't even help us. But I'm still going to use it because it's the only monster that's attacking. So I'm definitely going to use this effect here. Because I want to put it in the back row so this can't attack again. Now the question is, what do we do after this? Because we... See, this is the problem. This is where we get stuck. We have good cards to like stop our opponent temporarily. But we have nothing to follow up with. And that's this is where we lose. Because like this can't get over this. Um, Sonic Chick is, is like good, right? So if we set this and he summons another Red Eyes, now he has another Red Eyes can't destroy our Sonic Chick. Nice. This is too weak to destroy anything, right? We can crash into Red Eyes. That doesn't help because then we put a Red Eyes in the graveyard for this. So that doesn't benefit us in any way. Uh, Pathfinder does nothing for us right now. Like nothing we have here does anything for us. So unfortunately... I think we just cubic seed and then set Sonic Chick. I think that is just a play. We we, we have no follow-ups whatsoever. We really need some better monsters. Um, or at least like some kind of possible synergy. Because right now we just have nothing. What is this, by the way? What could this be? Like Fang with Chain Max C. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Max C would be a good pull. Well, we're not going to get it though. But that would be a good pull. Maxi, I can't believe he resolved a Maxi successfully. We're going to go ahead and set the Sonic Chick. I just, that's a shocking re resolution. See, and the problem is a lot of these newer players play the story mode. And in the story mode, you get Raigeki. And Raigeki is obviously, like this board is just, he Raigeki's us. We have no follow, we lose. Because the problem is, at least if we had Karaz, for example, it, it would do something. But this Volcanic guy just does nothing for us. And the problem is, like, I could, if I cut him, like, what would I replace him with? Like, I, I don't have anything worth replacing right now. The, the, this guy just does nothing. Okay. I will totally accept that. I will accept that connection failed. I told you, McDonald's. The McDonald's Wi-Fi. This guy walked a little bit too far. There we go. Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, Wi-Fi. Come on, how many legacy packs? One. What else do we pull? 1,000. Believe it or not, this is actually stronger than some of the monsters we have in our deck. Binding Chain. This card never released in the TCG. It's OCG exclusive, and it sucks. All right, let's go pull another pack. Actually, again, I'm going to do this again. I want to go see what he was playing. Just just for viewership, you know. You, we, I think we're all interested in what people... Just for, for science, I think we all want to know... What people are playing in the lower tiers. 60 card red eyes. Including every red eyes card to ever be printed. Look at this brick fest. Absolute Kali Yuga. How do you summon this? What level 8? There's no level 8 red eyes. How do you summon this? This. The, oh, this. Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, Galactic Spiral Dragon is not bad, right? This because it turns in, it turns all dragons level 8. That's actually not bad. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. You have one copy of that in a 60 card deck, by the way. This card is pretty good, actually, in a red eyes deck. Interesting. Interesting. I'm so I, I get so excited. Half half of this, I just love opening the packs, and it, it's almost like wow. There's so much shininess, and then it ended up being nothing. <laughs> like it, it's it's so fun opening the pack after like suffering for like 20 minutes. Debris Dragon, I think we played attack position is not good though, but I mean, I guess we can summon the Vijam back, we can summon the so Sonic Chick, stuff like that. Uh, Send of Blue Eyes can't, don't have one. Um, 
if this card is sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon, not going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. You can special stuff with the blah, blah, When a token, while you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by a battle or card effects. You can tribute one another Mecha Phantom Beast. Can't do that because we don't have any way to summon them. Okay. We have one way to summon tokens. That's it. But I don't think that's very usable. But it is a tuner, so it's good to keep that in mind for the future. But um, not right now. Uh, this is not usable. Target one Acer. Actually, do we have... Give it to your opponent during the destroy that card. Banish all cards your opponent controls. Don't we have an Acer? No, Acer is the gods in the deck, so we don't have that, actually. Um, Gradle Combat. When the Spore Trap card is activated, it targets exactly one Gradle, a type of card that we don't have. Uh, Mythic Water Dragon. If you control an Earth Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only summon Mythic Water Dragon once per turn this way. I don't think that this card is actually usable. I'll have to check how many Earths we have, but that could be usable. What in the spell book can't be usable? Um, and I, this is generic. While this is equipped to a monster, any monster, you can target a level five from your destroy this card. We don't. I don't think we have any level five or lower fire monsters. This card is sent to the graveyard because it's equipped to a monster. You can target one level special summon it. Okay, this is a good card, but we just don't have anything to do with this. I like it. This makes me miss when equip cards weren't just continuous spell cards. It would be nice if this actually had an effect that was usable for us. Like if it gained 300 attack, I would probably play this. Uh, but I think Debris Dragon is the only usable card, possibly Water Dragon. I gotta see how many Earths we have. Uh, but Debris Dragon is definitely playable. Let's go check what that Legacy Pack is uh, is cooking for us here. There's no shiny cards, but honestly, who cares if we have shiny cards or not? Because at this point, even the non-shiny cards are good. This is not good, right? Decrease defense by 500. Nah. Um, and this is Guard Drag Fusion Summon. One Fusion Monster from Extra Drag by Banishing listed on it that are all Link Monsters from your field or graveyard. Not usable at this point. So the only thing I think we're adding is the Debris Dragon, which is perfect because the deck is garbage at this point anyway. Uh, let's go to our deck. And what are we replacing Debris Dragon with? This is another card we just have not drawn. We just straight up have not drawn this card. Like, I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it's going to be bad, but we have not drawn it. Uh, this has better stats than Debris Dragon. And technically, this is pretty bad. This is probably what I'm going to replace with Debris Dragon. Um, because, yeah, it's just better. And then it can summon some of these lower attack monsters. So it can summon this, this 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 is this no so you can summon a bunch of different monsters in our graveyard and then this requires an earth to special summon if you control an earth so how many earths do we have one so alley changes interesting because we can target a face up monster change its attribute so this is pretty much an earth we have not drawn this when do we draw this, this is actually a good monster why don't we draw um uh, earth we have a decent amount of Earths, so I am leaning towards playing that. But, like, what is the payoff of this stupid snake? There's literally no payoff because it doesn't really help us with anything. It's just a big monster. I guess it special summons itself, and then what? Like, it, what does that benefit? Like, I guess it triggers the dimension slice. I think it might be high time to cut the, the field spell here, but all this does is inflict battle damage. I actually think it might be... There's so many cards that we've never drawn... Uh, we haven't drawn this. We haven't drawn this field spell in so many games. There's so many cards that we just never draw. And I honestly think that that snake is probably better than this than the field spell at this point. If I'm being completely and totally honest, it's probably at this point better than the field spell. Because it actually can summon itself and do some things for us. Um, as far as other cards, honestly, this card I really want to play. But I don't think we have enough warriors in our deck at all at this point. Like I think this is a warrior... It's a very good card, but Karaz is a warrior. This is a warrior. I think this is a warrior. Warrior. Warriors are very plentiful in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a lot of warriors out there, but we just... I don't want to play a game where we have a dead card. But we honestly, at this point, have so many dead cards that... Our lower level monsters are not warriors. We have probably like five warriors in our deck, so it could be. I honestly think this is, it's probably better than the the record when an X Y Z monster activates. I honestly think it's there's a higher chance of it being useful than than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that. I'm gonna go and just temporarily try it. I think that's probably better for us. Let's go duel again. 
So what we actually have had some good wins, some bad wins today. The self decays are, I guess, whatever. I'll take the free wins because our deck is so unplayable that I'll take it. But you know what? It's it's been it's been interesting. Uh, we actually have had some legitimate wins, and we've had some close games. All things considered, like almost all of our games have been really close, other than the Exo Sister game. That guy was just like, dude, go fight a tier limit deck. Why are you bothering us? Ah, uh, this is not a bad hand so far. At all. This is not a bad hand in any way. But we got to see what uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Goat over here has to do. Not looking good. I'm not going to lie. This is not looking good. I'm going to see what else he has. But if he puts the... Uh, if he puts circle into circulation i'm gonna go ahead and just scoop this one up if he has circle the second he puts circle and eternal soul into like play we're we're gone yeah i can summon this but it's not really gonna help anything do i summon this does it really help like i guess we have no reason not to right just in case we draw a tribute monster we summon it it would be nice to have some extra deck monsters, but we can activate this and what do we do? Till the end of this turn, if we can reveal a fire, this card gains that much defense. And then dark and earth. We have to reveal both a dark and an earth. We just have dark and no earth. So, I mean, it's not going to help right now. But I guess during our opponent's turn, we can make him 3,000. So we can protect our life points. That's not going to help anything. See, this is, this is, like I said, like we have some decent cards, but this is the problem that we typically will have very often. A dark and an earth. Yeah, it has to be dark and an earth. Okay, do we even set anything else? Like, it's just going to get destroyed by whatever. So, he's either not going to be able to out this, or he is, but there's no... Like, it, oftentimes, it's just not... None of these have any graveyard effects that help, and it's better to actually just keep them in our hand, because if we have fire monsters, we can just reveal them and make that. Definitely got to keep this. I'm just going to go ahead and keep these monsters in play. And then which one is this? Is the one that is, yeah, switch the attack and defense. This one's actually pretty good. I mean, they're both pretty, both of these amazement cards that we have are actually pretty good. And they're continuous cards, so that's actually fairly helpful for us. Because they can both help us out monsters. That's one of the things I'm really, like, very happy that we pulled is these amazement cards. They are, they've really been, like, helping us put in work. Uh, I'm going to wait till, is this during the main phase? Quick effect, you can activate this effect to reveal, blah, 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 blah. Is this during the main phase? They like to put that recently. Uh, no, we're not going to activate that. But as soon as he attacks, I will do that. I'll, I'll go ahead and take my, my 3,000. I'll take my 500 damage now that he's successfully declared. Oh, do not activate. Why did you give me the option already? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the flame bell magician and i'll do some some quick damage here no no no. let's turn that off that's going to get annoying this card's coming in, in in into this card's coming in clutch here now the only thing with us is we have to draw an earth nope didn't draw but we drew another amazement card i'll take that um yeah, the amazement's not bad. This is amazement is basically targeting removal anytime we want, which is nice. Yeah, this is not bad. Your opponent banished the equip monster until the end phase. So I think that when you use that effect to banish the equip monster until the end phase, this equip actually falls off and goes to graveyard. So it, it can be a temporary banish, but sometimes a card like this is good because it can move things out of the way for us. And if it moves things out of the way for us, that can actually be quite good. We're seeing these lines on the screen, the connection lines. So hopefully our opponent is giving up again. Oh, that's not good at all. I have Tamias is going to summon the Dragon Knight, which is not good for us. Dragon Knight has 3,000 attack, which is going to clash directly with this. He can also summon Amulet or the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. I don't know what he's going to summon, but none of it, none of it bodes well for us, honestly. Because Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon, I would have she like discard a card, pop a card. That's not good for us either. 
Amulet Knight kind of sucks, but it's whatever. You can summon the Dark Magicians, technically. Dark Cavalry. That is mad random. Okay, gains one for every... If the piercing, not good. When card effect is activated, targets a monster on the field. Discard, negate the activation. He can discard and negate either one of these, and that effect is actually not once per turn. So you can actually discard and negate both of these if you wanted to. That's not good for us. Yeah, it's bad. All right. That is really, really specifically good against us right now. And it's not like you could say, oh, he played around it. Well, he had no idea. I'm going to save us some damage by revealing a fire. Same fire we already revealed. And then I'll save some damage. I can make him discard cards by just, like, trying to equip things. But, like, that's not really going to help the situation. And these both target because all equips in, by nature target. Not only equips, but like these cards in general literally say target, so. Yeah, this guy's like, it, it sucks because like it doesn't matter how much of a super noob that he is. Like this card, he can just sit on and we have nothing that we can possibly do. And it's actually when a card or effect is activated, it targets a card on the field. So it can be anywhere on the field. So even if I target my own cards... Uh, I guess we just summon the monsters with the highest defense right now. Should be this. Save us the most life points because we need to draw some kind of an out. I honestly, again, this is one of those duels where, ah, oh, man, it's over. I don't think we're going to win this one, but. Yeah, he's going to probably OTK us the next. Yeah, this is this one's over. Like, it, there's, oh, there's always a world where he just, like, randomly, like, again, walks walks out of McDonald's and loses the Wi-Fi connection. But, like, other than that, I, I think this one is a wrap for us. I don't think we're winning this duel. I think that this is, this is not looking good for us whatsoever. Thousand Knives. These are the people that when I make a, a Dark Magician card tier list, they're gonna they're gonna be in there talking about how great Thousand Knives is. They're gonna be telling me how great Dark Cavalry is. Uh, this is when I make when I make a, a Master Duel tier list and I put uh, Dark Magician Rogue. They're gonna be in here telling me how they're how they absolutely never lose with Dark Magician. Uh, this is this is the kind of stuff we're gonna hear. All right, this is over. So he's gonna pop our back row too. Actually, I want I want to see something. I want to see some more information. I'm going to pop our monster, search black dark magic attack, and then I'm going to chain both of these to this, and I'm going to make him discard twice. But this, this duel is essentially over. We're definitely responding now. <laughs> Obviously, I want him to, uh, I want him to negate. <laughs> But this duel is pretty much over. There's nothing that I can draw that can um, that can win me this duel. Let me know in the comments. You guys want me to scoop these games, or you want me to keep fighting till the end? Because I'll keep fighting till the end. But something tells me a lot of you guys would rather me have me just scoop this up. Yeah, this guy's playing the BS. And you'd think he'd be smart enough to be discarding spawn trap cards because then he'd gain attack and then he has nothing to destroy uh as soon as i see my draw we'll scoop up yeah th this this duel is pretty much over i'm not i'm not winning this he's got too much uh going here it's incredible the decks that we lose to at this point just because we have no follow-ups whatsoever like we have decent plays there like we had them like where we had him on like a defensive situation, but like we had nothing to follow up with. This deck is terrible. Wow. Two magician souls. Just buy another structure deck, dude. Like one rod. Like this is the exact type of person that will tell me that my 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 ratings for Dark Magician are all wrong. Let's go to another game. <laughs> It said you can craft, you can use craft points to generate cards. Thanks. Good to know. 
Let's go second. We'll see what our opponent's playing. This is not looking like a great hand. I want to end on a win, so let's let's see if we can get one. If if they're playing a really good deck, I'll just scoop it, and then I'll just I want to win. I want to end on a competitive, interesting game. Ideally, I'd like to end on a good pull. Set one pass. We like we like what we're seeing. I'll tell you that we like what we're seeing. Uh, do we need this out there right now? Is this going to be helpful in any way? Do we have an earth and a dark? We have a dark and not an earth. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there anyway. Why not? We don't lose anything by having it out there. And we can put 3,000 defense on it anytime we want to and protect it. So I don't think it, it's hurt, it hurts us in any way. Big bang shot. It's not a bad card with photon cruiser. Photon crusher, I'm sorry. Photon Crusher, Big Bang Shot, why not? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to play a little more aggressive. I don't know what this guy's playing. It's, it's interesting to me. But we'll do some damage. Hopefully he doesn't have like a, a Mirror Force or anything. I probably should have saved this. Played it a little more intelligently. Ouch, this is going to hurt. But he gets to search a Red Eye Spawn Trap card. Our monster goes to defense. That card would be really good with the Debris Dragon, but I mean, we don't have anything to search. Red Eyes Fusion. Damn it. I mean, again, it's like, you can make the argument I shouldn't have used this, but like, what am I going to like, what am I going to do if I don't do that? You know, it, it's one of those situations where I'm kind of screwed the second one of those bigger monsters comes out. It's like, I have nothing to really out. Like, if he summons the big Red Eyes monster, the, the good thing about the big Red Eyes monster, it has no protection whatsoever, so at least that's good for us. And none of this matters. Like, at least the bigger Red Eyes monster has no protection, so... That's... With Dark Magician, it's, sometimes it can be tough to out, but the Red Eyes... Bigger Red Eyes, like the Red Eyes Meteor Dragon, if he summons that, it has no protection. He can summon the, the Red Eyes, the other Red Eyes, but it literally doesn't matter. Stamping Destruction, yeah. It's, our monster now gets banished. It would be awesome if he had Call of the Haunted right here. And then he could have... What did he send? Oh, I know all about this card. He kicked my rear end before. And then he can attach this thing. Do some burn damage. Honestly, there's no point to even activate this. Unless he uh, he attacks with this thing. Actually, he might attack with that thing. So, If he's dumb enough to enter the battlefield. He should equip this over here. But he's going to equip it from the hand. That's fine. We'll see if he decides to attack. What does this do? All monsters you control, all monsters defense during your opponent's turn. So we'll see. If he declares an attack with this, then that's good for us. But if he just attaches it... Well, he's probably not going to attach it, though. Because he's probably like, oh, this guy's... Oh, he's going to attach it anyway. Alright, so we have. I'm just going to turn chaining off. That way it stops bothering me. Because boosting this to 3,000 isn't going to change a thing. It would be awesome if we could get this Iron Dragon off right now. Unfortunately, I don't think we can. Because if we had like a Link 1, that would be awesome. If we had like a Salamangre All Mirage, for example. We normal summon, Link Debris, Debris Dragon away. And then just summon this, blow up this entire row. But we have nothing right now for this situation. Uh, it, we actually can summon back this thing. With the uh, debris dragon, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that is. And then it has to be used for a synchro summon of a dragon. We can make we can make a level ten dragon synchro monster theoretically, but we don't have a level ten synchro dragon monster, unfortunately. Yeah, if we could just this this iron dragon like as bad as he is that I, I don't know if there is a better replacement that for him because like unless we can make a link one he's just kind of useless right now to us um he's just not doing anything unfortunately just because the, obviously the master rule changed and this guy's unreal he really drew all of these this is the best card in the red eyes archetype he drew all of them 
if we could just out this one the thing is even if we out this one dude he could just search red ice fusion and then like three other red ice cards so unfortunately i don't know that we have the answer here yeah i don't think we have the answer the good thing is he's not drawing anything else but the bad news is what we're seeing on the screen yep that's game devastating absolutely devastating loss uh, this is actually a well like this is for these early ranks it's actually a well constructed there's so much destruction this lucky bastard pulls a shiny card this shiny version of this card yeah i don't think we would have beat this deck no matter what we did that is just it, it is it's like the perfect deck against this it's well too constructed against this it has too much removal and we have none a dark hole for us would be like perfect like that's that's the type of card that we really need dark hole card destruction something of that sort would be really really good for us we're going first you can only hope for there can only be one you can only hope for there can only be one that would be perfect for us we still have not drawn consecrated light there's so many cards we have not drawn it's almost kind of insane uh, nothing here is really good at all so we hope he's playing a light deck and we're gonna set the do we yeah we protect our life points yeah we do protect our life points we're gonna go ahead and set that that's it we technically could have just summoned this but it's fine we just use that on the track crack back yeah, hopefully, see, now if he was playing Exo Sisters, I would be so fine with it. Where he's not playing a light deck, he's playing Gaia. Okay, we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost. It's over. He's going to double attack, do piercing, and it's over. I know that deck all too well. It's over. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at that. That's obviously just a couple of uh, structure decks. He just probably bought this new structure deck and, and that's the way he played it. There's no reason for me to even investigate that. We're going first again. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Hopefully, like I said, I'll, when you go first, you hope to draw there can only be one. Or one of our many other floodgates that possibly can be somewhat usable. Uh, this probably has the highest defense of all of our monsters. And that's all we basically have. We're going, we're going to go ahead and uh, pass here. Okay, I was just about to scoop and then this guy just activated a bunch of nothing. So I actually am not going to scoop. I was literally just about to scoop, but I, he seems like a pendulum player that bricked. Now what is good is we finally drew this iron dragon and if he makes a link too, we might actually have the appropriate cards to be able to do something uh this i'm going to summon for sure uh this i'm going to flip in a second here okay what does this do void launch i i mean un, i i don't know what to say about that why void launch is in here i i i don't know maybe this is like an advanced I want to I want to hope now we don't want to summon this because this destroys a the one that comes out destroys a monster is this guy playing some sort of advanced version of of our deck I hope that he's playing an advanced version of our deck I actually like the amount of man masochist players that are like circling around this is our second one possibly today because he's got the the star pendograph he has the void launch and he's got the great great land sea Golgonda which is all very interesting. Okay, this is yeah. I'm I'm fairly sure this guy is a fellow, uh, is a fellow, masochist dueler. So we'll leave dark earth. Yeah, we'll leave a dark and an earth for us there. We're gonna try to ma make things happen after this. This is this has been a you know this has been good here. He has 200 left. Okay, no, we don't want to do this. He has 200 life points left. If we could just draw that that freaking fossil card that burns for 500, that would be perfect. I, I removed all of the attack directly, guys. So we're not going to draw that. Even if he summit sets a monster, we have back to square one. So at least that's good. Uh-oh. That's not good. Four and one. He can summon twos and threes. 
to protect his life points. What does he have? How many cards in his extra deck? I want to say this guy is definitely playing the Masochist Challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain this is what this guy is doing. Because based on what I'm seeing here, this, this seems like a random pile of crap. But this actually, in a lot of ways, seems like a better random pile of crap than our random pile of crap. See ya. Yep, let's go check out his deck, definitely. Before we, we, get, we, cra uh, we uh, get our stuff here, we're going to check out his deck. Okay, we ranked up into silver. And we got two. Was that two? Yeah, we got two packs, and we ranked up into silver. So let's check our opponent's deck. Wow, this guy was not playing the Masochist Challenge. He just bricked. His deck was just... He just bricked that badly. How do you brick that badly? This guy has a Royal Rare Astrograph Sorcerer. He bricked that badly. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm not even... I'm not mad. I'm not complaining. I don't know how that worked out. Did you see the, com the perfect combination of cards that our opponent had to have for him to brick the way that he did? Like, it was... It's perfect. He had... The perfect amount of terrible cards for us to win that duel. I'll, by all means, I will accept that. And I'll take my rank up into silver and I'll take my uh, master packs here. All right, so first our master pack. Let's crack that open. No hollows, but that's not the end of the world because some of our best, some of our best packs have been non-hollow packs anyway. Can we summon this? That's the question. One tuner, one non-tuner, totally generic, level 7. We have the level 1 synchros. We have the level 6 monsters. I think this is summonable. Alright, so you can only control one of this idiot. One of this idiot. Okay, that's fine. This card is special summoned from the graveyard. Destroy a spawn trap card. I don't think we have a way to do that. If a synchro summon card in your possession which level level is nine destroyed by battle card effect, this card is in your grave. You can banish one of the zombie. And okay, so other than being twenty six hundred attack, I don't think that we can really do anything with that guy. Magnet reverse. This all oh, monsters original machine and rock are unaffected by your opponent's monsters effect. I don't think we have enough for that to matter. Gen X army. Okay. This card trip is summoned with a Gen X monster. Destroy one card your opponent controls. I'm probably going to play this because I actually do have a Gen X monster. And it's better stats than some of our other one tribute monsters. Unplayable. Cannot be normal summon to set and we don't have a driver. Amazon is queen. We played against this earlier. I don't think that this is playable. But Amazon is monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. That includes itself. Technically speaking, this is better than our... Uh, this is better than the volcanic monster that we have right now. So this may go in there. We really need like level fours and stuff though. This is nor this is an insect tuner. An insect tuner. That cannot be summoned. Uh, chain ignition. If a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by your opponent's card effect. If a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by your opponent's card effect. You can target one card in the field to destroy that target. I don't see that happening not bad this is basically like goes in match one time use i'm probably going to play it because our deck is in such bad this is such a bad situation i'm probably going to go ahead and play that so for our bonus packs let's go check out what's going on in there yeah let's go go two bonus packs um all commons which is fine fine I don't, I don't mind the comments because, again, we really just need to beef up our monsters. Our monsters are just too weak. Twister. Pay for your life and target a face sub spawn trap card. Destroy it. Should I play this? Should I not? Honestly, Eternal Soul. This beats Eternal Soul. This beats a lot of just really good cards in that department. So I think we play that. Uh, Explosive Urchin. Activate only with trap when your opponent activates the trap cards during the standby phase. Inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. Your opponent must control a face-up trap card for you to activate and resolve this effect during the third standby phase. Send this card to the graveyard. So we essentially do 2,000 damage if our opponent activates a trap card and it remains on the field. I don't think that's good. Um, yeah, I don't think that's really useful for us. Uh, Wing Weaver, not good enough. And Scroll of Bewitchment basically changes the attribute of a monster. I don't think that's useful. Uh, 
yeah i don't think that's useful so i think that is it for today's episode it's i think we're like an hour like two hours in almost so i gotta edit this down but i think this edit episode is already very very long um yeah i think this is the end of the episode i'm definitely gonna be making some changes after those polls and uh join me later if you enjoyed this la 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 la